Europe. A community of people and states with a vibrant economy in an environment that we must preserve for future generations. The objective of Swiss transport policy is to transfer transalpine heavy goods traffic from road to rail. Therefore, Switzerland is building the new rail link through the Alps, known as the NRLA or Alp Transit, which is a unique flat track that runs through the heart of the Alps. The investment in this new rail infrastructure amounts to around 18 billion euros. The NRLA consists of the Lurchberg, Gotthard and Chenery base tunnels. It's the largest rail infrastructure project in the history of Switzerland. The Lurchberg base tunnel opened in 2007. The Gotthard base tunnel will come into operation on the 11th of December 2016. At 57 kilometers in length, it's the longest rail tunnel in the world. Construction work has taken place in parallel on five sections of the tunnel. More than 2,500 people were involved, working three shifts around the clock. For the two main tunnels and the safety, ventilation and cross cuts, a total of 153 kilometers of tunnel has been bored. The plan is to open the Chenery Base Tunnel, the last of the NRLA tunnels, in 2019. The base tunnels provide a level rail route through the Alps on the Rhine Alpine Corridor, the most important north south rail freight corridor. The Rhine Alpine Corridor connects Rotterdam and Genoa via Germany and Belgium and forms part of the European Development Plan, which aims to improve the use of rail freight transport to ensure the sustainability of our transport systems by shifting traffic from road to rail. Every year, around 200 million tons of goods are transported on the 1,500 kilometer long north-south axis and distributed throughout Europe. Of this, a total of 25 million tons traveled through Switzerland by rail last year alone. Forecasts indicate that the volume of goods will double by 2030. It's important that this increase in traffic is moved to more environmentally friendly means of transport all over Europe. Switzerland has made a significant contribution to establishing a sustainable pan-European transport policy and will continue to invest heavily in an efficient north-south goods transport route. The opening of the Gotthard and Chenery base tunnels will reduce the length of the route by 30 kilometers, cut the journey time by 60 minutes and significantly lower production costs. The current capacity of 180 freight trains per day on the Gotthard axis will rise to around 250 freight trains, which will not only increase flexibility, but also punctuality. The NRLA enables Switzerland to show its solidarity with the rest of Europe by helping to accommodate the growing volume of traffic and making a commitment outside its own boundaries. With heavier trains, shorter journey times and greater capacity, the NRLA gives rail freight a number of clear competitive advantages. However, because of its location at the heart of Europe, Switzerland cannot achieve its transport policy objectives alone. In order to preserve the environment for future generations, every corridor country, from the Netherlands and Belgium to Germany and Italy, must make a contribution. The whole of Europe must play a role in promoting sustainable and environmentally friendly measures to overcome the problem of the growing volume of freight traffic. Only by working together with the involvement of all the relevant European states can we hand down to future generations a competitive economy in an undamaged environment. The countdown has started. Alp Transit, from ambition to reality.